That's interesting how you, what you described to me it sounds like the virtue of humility where there's kind of two sides of humility where one thing is understanding without God we can do nothing. But the other side is understanding that with Him we can do anything. It seems contradictory, you know. Like I said, there's a certain self, uh, a self strength that you have to look for and, and call out of yourself. But at the same time, there's this utter dependence on other people's help that also has to be there. It's kind of the two sides of humility that you've uh, that you've experienced along the way. You think that's fair to say? Yeah. Yeah, it's very true. Well, that's awesome to see the um, see the working of God, see the working of the Holy Spirit. As you journey, and and uh, obviously all, all of our journeys continue on, right? Yeah. Um, but an interesting chapter to say, nonetheless. For for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's still still going on. So, um, just just uh, just keep on uh, keep on going through it. <laughs> Any final thoughts that you'd like to share today? Uh, I think the other thing that I'd like to say is if if you do know somebody with COVID or with going through a personal battle. I mean, uh, we reach out to them and more than just once because somebody can fake it once. Uh, <laughs> so, so somebody might be able to fake it twice, but if you reach out to them and just ask them questions that aren't, aren't possibly aren't direct, but just uh, just see what they're doing. And, uh, I mean, I don't even know if you have to ask them how they're doing, but just ask them, uh, ask them what they're doing. Um, <laughs> and do the same thing for family and friends as well, especially those close to the person going through it. Uh, because, I mean, it's very possible that they could be feeling the exact same things that the person uh, that's actually going through the challenge. Because, uh, I mean, ch- challenges have a way to s- separate sometimes and to isolate. And uh, we're, we're just not designed to be in isolation. Amen to that. I completely agree with that. And uh, may our Lord always give us that chance and that, that ability to to live in communion with Him and with others. That's awesome. Great, great advice. And um, thank you for sharing all of your, yeah. your experience today. And, and hopefully that's helpful to, to more people out there who, uh, who have their own challenges, whether it's COVID or, or whatever. But it's just so refreshing to understand and see in real life someone who sees God in suffering and sees how that's not a sign that God doesn't love you, but it's just the opposite. God, even in all of that, has shown you how much he does love you. As strange as that is. Yeah, yeah. So thank you. Thank you for uh, helping me with with everything. You've, uh, You've definitely been great. Well, appreciate anything we can do, Joe. God bless you. Thank you.